All right, I wanted to take a little minute to talk about the warm-up and also the barbell warm-up for the Olympic program that we've started. Warming up for the Olympic lifts is essential to uh, open up your ankles, open up your hips, open up your arms. Um, the worst thing that you can do is put weight on a bar and start lifting. We're gonna start with wrist circles, okay? We're gonna go 10 on the clockwise, 10 on the counterclockwise side. Then we're gonna move to elbow circles, where we're coming around here, 10 clockwise, 10 counterclockwise. Your leg swings, very standard, okay? 10 on the right, 10 on the left. And then finally, your frog pose is gonna be right here. You're gonna grab the toes, keep the back nice and flat and arch, and your chest up. You can also push with your elbows against your thighs to open up your hips. Spider-Man lunges are also a good way to open up your hips. That is, we wanna get that front foot out, that back foot back. And again, opening up, I feel it in my quad, I feel it in my left hip. You're gonna to wanna to do, I would say 15 to 20 seconds on each side. Again, taking your time. The worst thing that you can do is rush through these warm-ups. All right, finally, the ankle. What you're gonna to wanna to do with that is grab the bar, Get in your squat position, and then you're gonna to wanna to put the bar over the knee, and you're gonna press it down. And what that does is it pushes your knee over your toe, and the back of your ankle is gonna get nice and, nice and stretched out. 10 or 15 seconds on the right. Stand and rotate. Same thing, 10 or 15 seconds. And again, just feel comfortable down here. All right, that's the goal. Okay, so now we're getting into the, what I think is the most important part of your Olympic lifting, and that is your barbell technique. It's also a warm-up, okay? And so the first warm-up is your positions. Your starting position is in the middle of the shin. Your butt is down, your chest is up. Okay, you should be able to hold this position without cramping up and without feeling uncomfortable. Position one is here, position two. In front of the knee, Knees are back, back is arched. Okay, my lats are engaged, everything is super tight. From here, I wanna move into the power position, which is right here. Your knees go underneath the bar, your chest is up, and I'm in a position to where I'm, I can fully extend up, okay? You don't wanna be forward, and you don't wanna be too far back. Power position is right here. So those are the three positions. One, two, three. Next progression from that is starting in the power position and triple extending and shrugging. There, reset, down, scaps engaged. Okay, my lats are engaged, pressing the bar in. I'm ready to jump, I extend, I shrug, I keep my arms straight. Your snatch push press is just like a regular push press except for it's going to be on your back. Your grip is snatch grip, dip, drive up. Engage the whole time up. No bent, no slack in the elbows. Snatch push press and then your snatch balance. Dip, drive, and we're taking it all the way down. All the way down. The next progression is going to look like this. Control and slow, control and slow. I get to the power position and then I go, okay? The whole time I feel my hamstrings tight, my lower back tight, my lats are engaged and once I get there, then I go. We're just trying to create muscle memory and getting you in these positions. If you cannot do the position slow, you're not gonna be able to do it when you go fast. So this is what, what it'll look like when you Finally put it all together. So I'm hitting my positions, I'm not rushing. And then I'm fast with the turnover, fast with the extension. You'll do that for two reps and then you'll do two full snatch reps. Same thing, slow controlled, all the way down into the squat. All right, finally, once you get through all of that, it's time to put it all together into your full movements. And so what we're gonna have for you is two power snatches, two hang power snatches, and then two full snatches.
There's one. Two, now I go to the hang position. One. Two. Now, two full snatches. One. Two. So that in, in itself got me sweating with a 15 pound bar. Um, that's how you guys are gonna learn your technique and how you're gonna warm up to start your program. All right, so we're moving on to the clean. It is gonna be the same exact program, guys. Your positions don't change, your grip changes, but the positions, the power position in front of the knee, your jump and shrug, all of it stays the same. So warm-up for the clean is gonna be very similar to the warm-up for the snatch the same mindset, the same uh, objectives, and the same goals. Remember that this program can be done instead of the CrossFit program, or if you wanna do both, come do the CrossFit program, then stay late, work on your snatch, it, it, it's, it's all good. Um, whatever works best for you will work for me. Just remember that the first couple weeks is gonna be the most important because we have to learn these warm-ups, these positions, and we have to get that right. If, if the positions aren't right in the warm-up with the bar, then they're not gonna be, um, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna translate to when you guys have a heavy load. So master it here. Once you get that down, the program will come easy. See you guys later.